Here's another episode of The Traditional Roman Catholic. Hello, everybody. Hank Idger here. Boy, it has been a long time since I did one of these traditional Roman Catholic videos from the RV. A couple of reasons for that. First, when it comes to lamenting the current state of affairs in our beloved Catholic Church, how many talking faces does YouTube really need? I mean, we've got some top-notch, full-time, semi-professional, stay-at-home, this-is-all-I-do Catholic laymen out there, dads with webcams, and they are ready to keep track of the disaster du jour and then provide pithy yet insightful commentary on whatever the latest disturbing development from Rome where outrageously silly Novus Ordo practice manifests itself. You'll hear it from them first and in a much more interesting and compelling format. So there's that. And then there's the cartoons. For the last year or so, I guess you could say I pivoted to making cheesy animations. I liked them and thought they'd really take off uh, Trad Trek as an example. Oh well. In fact, I may do a Greatest Flops video. Anyway, uh, whether well-received or discarded before the first 30 seconds of viewing, each of those cartoons, cheesy as they were, were definitely labor-intensive. And over the last few months, I just sort of, well, I ran out of intense labor opportunities. Now, that doesn't mean that I'm over and done with cheesy cartoons. In fact, right now, the Jimmy Martin Halloween special is in the works, and it's about 25% complete. Now, I'm not saying exactly which Halloween it'll be ready by, but it's a coming. In the meantime, I am beginning to work on a new little pet project. Many of you may have heard of the wildly popular series called The Chosen by Dallas Jenkins and Angel Studios. If you spent any time on social media, you've doubtless seen many a trad or orthodox Catholic decry the series for its stunning non-Catholicity, if that's a word, its non-Catholic nature. I'd never watch that crappy series because, fill in the blanks. As it turns out, I kind of like The Chosen. In fact, I like it a lot. From a Catholic perspective, it most assuredly gets a lot of the details wrong. Oh, yeah. From my perspective as a former evangelical, however, I was fascinated to see how much Catholic stuff actually made it into the script. In fact, there's more than enough Catholic stuff to make your typical hard-shelled Baptist a bit uncomfortable, and to me that's a very interesting situation. I'll be coming up with a few videos talking about The Chosen, pointing out some of the surprising things they get right, and I'll try to point out some of the things which you, a Catholic, uh, that you could use uh, as a stepping off point to engage, dare I say, proselytize your Protestant friends. Stay tuned. And for any of you who actually made it this far into what is certainly a backwater little video like this one, hey, thanks. We'll see you again soon.